Hey, it's Spence from Launch Flows. And in this third video, I'm gonna show you the third key feature of Launch Flows, which is upsells and downsells. Now, this is my favorite. We're gonna build on what we've already put together here. So let's go ahead and remember that we had a checkout and it's got an order bump. We're gonna use this checkout, which happens to be the default one, but you can create any number of free checkouts. Next, we're gonna create a product that is going to be used for the order uh, upsell. So essentially what we're gonna do now is create a new product like we did before, and you can call it whatever you want. This is typically gonna be offered on its own page. I would offer it, for example, after a checkout, before a checkout, or sometimes you can offer this in the middle of, let's say, a course. Maybe lesson three, somebody gets to, and you say, now's a good time to buy the actual course. You can use it all with one widget, with Elementor, or with the short code. I'm gonna show you the short code here because that's the universal way, and then you can use the extra power of the Elementor widget if you want. So we could call this upsell product. And like always, we're gonna hook it and create whether it's virtual or it could be a, an actual downloadable or it could be something that's shipped. It doesn't make a difference. Here, we're gonna give it a price. Let's say this is $150. Now, what we wanna do is go to launch flows and say, like we did before, where should this be purchased at? So even if you put it on its own page, I want it to be purchased in the checkout page. Worth pointing out. If you want to offer a series of offers, you know, one, then the next, then the next, just daisy chain them. So instead of putting the checkout page here, you could just put the next offer page. So essentially, this is the place that somebody goes to after they add it to the cart. And then this is the place where somebody goes after the checkout is done. Here, I'm going to keep it simple. It's just a page. It's going to send it to the checkout. So I'm going to choose checkout like I did before. Next, we can decide what we want to do here as to whether this is something that is exclusive only in the cart with solo checkout or not. I'm not going to bother with this because this is the kind of product that they can add with the order bump. So I'm going to give it an image like I did before. And let's give something different. So I don't know, let's put the piggy bank. And now we're going to go ahead and publish. So what we've got now is a product that we can use on any page. Let's make that page. We're gonna go ahead and say pages, add new. And again, you can use a post or a page. Page that has the upsell. You obviously won't call it this. This will just be a content page. Now in this time, we're gonna to refer to my short codes first. So in the documentation of launch flows, simply go to the upsells and downsells documentation link right here and you'll see all the other features and things that you can do with Elementor. But I'm gonna to scroll to the bottom because here all we need to do is grab this syntax and we're gonna paste it into the page. Now, we can use Elementor the same way and use a widget, but this is the simpler way. What we want is the actual product ID of what we just created like we did before. So let's grab that real quick. And that's 2209. So we simply do this. We say upsell product. 2209. Next, we want to say what's the page we want to take them to. And in this case, if uh, the answer is no, I don't want this product, you'd probably want to take them to the checkout. No big deal, right? So let's do the same thing. We're going to look at the ID of the checkout page. And in this case, the ID of the checkout page is ID number seven. It's up here in the URL. And you can also just look at the all pages list. So we'll say seven. And then if you want, you can also change the wording on the buttons. So yes, I want it and so forth. If you're using WP Fusion uh, with your marketing automation, you can also automatically add tags and so forth. And if you want, you can also change the various things about whether to show the full image, show the title and so forth. Let me show you with all of the parameters first. When we publish this page with the default parameters, we get something that looks like this. It's really nice because all the key things are in place. We've got the title, we've got the price of the product, we've got a yes and a no thanks button. If we were to go back and just edit the syntax, it's really simple. Instead of saying uh, no thanks, you say, you know, I'm good, and so forth. And now we've got a page that exists anywhere page, a post inside of a lesson of a course, where if somebody clicks the button, it instantly takes that product and sends it to the checkout. You'll notice that the upsell product is now here. 
and we can use it in conjunction with our order bump. So if we want to offer that offer order bump, sure, they can add that on and they've got both things all in that simple step. And there's lots more features. You can customize the checkout. You can do more complex things, but this is your five and five video for product number three or feature number three, which is the upsells feature. I'll see you in the next video.